Yeah, sometimes it's just one, sometimes it's uh Um, but I just wanted to see like the drills and stuff. Oh, okay. So I can't practice, but what happened? The drills. Um, I tripped over my laces. Oh no. I hurt my collar, my, not my collar, but my tailbone. Okay. Happened. I'm sorry. It's fine. You're still, you're still sore? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's it's get okay. you well. Let's so get you well. Be, it may be broken or it may just be badly bruised. Hmm. Yeah, I, that happened to my wife uh, at about at about your age, I think she told me. So she broke her tailbone. But yeah, I don't even think they do anything for that. I think you just yeah. have to rest, right? Yeah. So, well, uh, again, so this is Sage uh, Aislinn. She is a senior, gonna be a senior at Glenelg High School. She, um, she is right-handed, but she slaps from the left side. I don't know, do you do that at all? Have you ever tried it? I'm trying to learn. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. We're going to start with that. All right. Um, okay. okay. Oh, look, Oklahoma Maddie's. <laughs> Are you really? Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're going to let Sage just go ahead and get started. So you can okay. Yep. Got uh, Maddie Mad Hall, Oklahoma, Maddie, and Aislinn. Aislinn is injured. Aislinn, what the heck did you do? I, I hurt my tailbone yesterday at practice. Oh, it wasn't me yesterday at pitching. No. no. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> um, I have, my metal feet have big laces, so I kind of stepped mm. inside of them while I was running and fell flat on my butt. Well, that's a great way to start our practices for the year, you know? Really? But it's all right, I'm glad you're okay. If, but thanks for joining. But okay, I'll just give you a little, I'll be here to see you Maddie, do you bat left-handed too? What's going on? Maddie Hall? Maddie Hall. No, I'm not left-handed. No, no, no. Okay, so this is Sage Maddie Hall, or Maddie Oklahoma, sorry, Jones, Maddie Jones. Maddie Oklahoma? Maddie Oklahoma. Always Oklahoma. Oklahoma <laughs> you live in Oklahoma? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, she's going to uh, be, she's a flat hitting expert. So that's why we brought her in here today, just to show you guys uh, just a different thing, a different perspective, okay? So the floor is all you. Are you guys all stretched warm? Are you ready to start hitting off the tee? Or do you want to do some stretches first? What's that? Are you going to go to golf? Hold on, I can't hear you. No, you can, okay, we're just gonna get started. Maddie, okay. Oklahoma, if you don't want to slap, you can just do everything she's doing as a regular hitter, okay? Okay. Yep, but I'm just gonna, on the back side, I'll still be here to comment, but okay, you just over. All right, we start by lining ourselves up with weight. And I like to keep my front foot right in line with the top of the plate, and then I'll be back to the back of the plate where I want to go. So we wanna put all of our weight back, so we just wanna start and then I like to go slow and just focus on chopping the softball in half. Like Fruit Ninja, you know how you just chop the fruit in half for it to break? Like how you do with the softball. Yeah. yeah. I think I have it down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I like to do to start it off. I like to just slap the toes, take it nice and slow, and practice chopping the ball. It's not going to probably go very far because we're not really swinging with half. Okay, and then Maddie Hall. Maddie from What's going on? <laughs> Wait, 
what you can do is imagine there's like a cross right by your feet. And what you want to do is you want to take your back, your back foot and you want to cross. So then you're in a diagonal position. And that's how you want to practice what you do. So go ahead. Go ahead, take some practice swings. Yep. Uh, I think Maddie froze on us. Oh, no, yeah, she's back. She Um, one thing for you, Maddie, hold the slide. Um, if you can see me. So you're kind of like going like this, and you see how my belly button's already showing? That's yeah. kind of fitting. We want to hide our belly button as much as possible before okay. we're ready to hit the ball. So when we step, see how my belly button's in, and then yeah. and it goes out. Okay. So you open up your belly button, you're most likely going to pull it to the pitcher or like, the wrong side of the field, and we want to hit it to the left side. Okay. Looks good. Oh, yeah, Maddie. Both Maddie's. <laughs> Maddie from Oklahoma, before you swing, I want you to like just get your legs in that strong spot like you've been doing. And instead of putting your bat back like this, I want you to pretend you're just kind of like on the cell phone right there. Good, looks good. Maddie from Oklahoma. Your swing looks great, but I want you to pretend like you have a bug on the back of your foot. And so when you swing, you want to squish the bug because we don't like bugs, right? I mean, I hope you don't. But bugs are kind of gross, right? So as we're swinging, I'm going to squish the bug with my foot. I'm going to rotate my hip and my knee and pretend like I'm squishing a bug. So then all your weight should be on your back leg when you finish. I like it. Awesome job on keeping your belly button in, Maddie. Okay, so I have another drill for Maddie Hall, the slapper. Um, so would you rather soft slap or power slap? Like soft slapping is where you kind of just hit it in the ground. Yeah, I like, I like soft slapping a little more. Soft slapping a little more. Okay, so there's this thing I want you to practice. It's gonna like look weird off the tee, but it helps. So when we soft slap, we want to aim for the top of the ball. So like in Fruit Ninja, we aim for the center, but like for slapping, we want to aim the top. So it's not gonna go very far, but you're literally just gonna hit the ball. See how it like barely goes anywhere? Yeah. Practice that. That's gonna help you because when you're like up to bat, you're gonna like get used to hitting the top of the ball, so you won't pop it up. It'll go straight into the dirt, and then you can use your speed to the advantage. Okay. My parents don't let me I, slap. They don't let you slap. <laughs> <laughs> How come? No idea. Like power. Maybe, maybe it just doesn't work out. Yeah, I just like doing the other thing. Okay, well, I have a drill for you, if you want to do it. It's kind of wonky. I'm good. Good? You just want to keep swinging? Yeah. I'm full swing. They just won't let me. They'll get mad at me if I do. I got yeah. you. Yeah. No, no, not on full slings. Not on slap buttoning. Whatever. Okay. 
Well, I would go for a full swing if you want to do that. Okay. Yeah. I forgot to put myself on back. <laughs> if you want to do this, Maddie, you can stand and face the net, and then all you're going to do is twist your hips like this. So it looks really awkward. Oh, man. Instead of starting here, you're going to start. It helps you in getting low and using your hips. Aislinn, is that how you say your name? Do, are you like, are you left-handed too? No, I've been trying a little, I've only tried a couple times to do left-handed because I want to sort of learn how to slap. Gotcha. Oh, okay, well I have a drill for you then, like for like beginning because the hardest thing about switching to left-handed is that your arms are going to feel awkward and it feels weird. So what I did to like learn and get used to it is I practiced hitting one-handed where I would just slowly go through the motions, try to hit the ball. And then I'd switch to my backhand. You might, you can like choke up on the back because it might be heavy. Yeah. But like, and then go through there. So then when you put your hands together, it'll feel like easier, of course. And then also, so it'll like be normal. Mm -hmm. And it's helpful to do one hand at a time because my problem was when I switched over, I was doing two hands and this front hand just always wanted to lead. So it had me swinging like this for the longest time. And it was just like, not where we get our power from. You wanna kind of keep this home plate shape. So if you practice with one hand at a time, it'll make you easier. Okay, cool, thank you. And then for leg work, just like draw a little cross and like have like if there's a cross right here, I'm going to have this leg here and this leg here, and then I'm going to step and step. And you see how like I switched and they're at a diagonal? Mm -hmm. So you can just practice that motion. Okay. Thank you. Maddie, it looks good even though you're hitting the tee. Like that's normal. <laughs> Maddie Hall. <laughs> Maddie Hall, do you, when you swing, do you like drop it, the bat? I can't tell if you're doing it. Right. Do. You do? Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering. It's yeah. like slap your shoulders. Um, Maddie Hall, the slapper. Um, how do you have your net set up? Do you kind of set up at an angle, like to left field? Or the yeah, left usually. side of the field. Okay, yeah. that's, that's awesome. You're already ahead of it. It's fun. <laughs> Maddie from Oklahoma, are you hitting some dingers over there? <laughs> we'll see. Um, so, Maddie Hall. Since you have your dad helping you, I have a drill, but you need like two people to do it. Okay. Um, so, so you're going to like line up in your ready position. You're not going to use a bat and you're kind of just going to go through the walkthrough and you're going to drop your hand to catch the ball. And it's going to be the backhand right here. It's not going to be the front hand. And it doesn't matter if you catch it. You just kind of want to like touch it. You know what I mean? It's great if you can catch it. We want to work on that so then we don't lose track of the ball. And we don't want to catch it up here. We kind of want to catch it like right here to get used to being late. Because sometimes on like a middle pitch, we have to be late if we want to get it. So you're here just doing your normal stance. You're going to cross and then like catch it. Okay.
you can do those for however long you feel like. That's just like a drill to help you keep your eye on the ball even when it gets bad. Oklahoma Natty. Remember when, I, when you go to swing, we don't want you to come here. So when you're going to swing, your first instinct is you're dropping your hands down this way. So remember to think about leading with the knob of your bat. You want to come straight down to the ball and then use that to whip around to it. You don't want to open up too soon and just drop that back arm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Better. I really like how you're following the ball, Maddie, like when you slap, like that's really good of you that you keep going to the left side. Okay, thank you. You get back to heart? Yeah. As you continue like saw slapping, one thing you can like start transitioning from is rather than hitting like down, see how my bat angle went like down? We yeah. Because like one of the cool things about slapping is it's deception. You know, they don't know what you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. You can actually take the full swing, but because you're hitting the top of the ball, it's gonna go down. Okay. And with a lot of power, it makes like that sound. I don't know if you understood that. But rather than going like this and just kind of like knocking it down, you can practice the whole level swing, but you're hitting the top of the ball, so it's gonna go okay. down. Huh. But that's just when you feel comfortable listening to that. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I'll hear your sound. Yeah, they kept it local. Only there was things were gonna what is your favorite type of eighteen? Yeah. I don't really know. We're just called gold. Okay. Do you guys mostly like the corner thing? Is that like the shaft? And then I'll take now, all of the college coaches, they kind of got like, they're not allowed to watch. Nobody's allowed to watch. Yeah. yeah. So, like, we're kind of just doing ones to like get us ready for those. So, because, um, the the next time colleges can come watch our games is like in July. And it's only when we're in Oklahoma and Myrtle. Another thing to practice, Maddie Hall with the slapper, is um, just as you keep hitting and everything, practice getting lower and lower because like when you're slapping, it's off to the races. Like you've got to run. And so it's, e it's easier and you can explode with more power if you're low because that's why like track stars, they start low is because they get more power. So it's kind of like track. So as you're hitting, just think of it like getting low floating out after you hit it. All right. Maddie in Oklahoma, after you take like a couple more swings, I want you to adjust your tee to the outside corner. We're gonna work on some outside.
looking good. I like what I see. And Maddie Hall with you, make sure you're moving a T2 to practice different locations. Okay, yeah. You blur it? Yeah, sure. And then also you might want to practice down the middle. I don't know if you're putting it outside or not. You might want to practice down the middle too and practice being late to the ball because we want to push it to the left side. Because okay. the pitch is the closest position, so we don't want to hit a ground ball to them. Yeah. Do you also like vaunt or drag? What? Sorry. You also like bunt up like a drag? Yeah, I like bunting a lot and I do like, yeah, I'm learning how to do a drag bunt. Okay, that's cool. I still can't even, like, I struggle with drag. <laughs> it's so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> She's gotten really good at bunting to the first base, like down the first baseline. It's like, that's the best spot to bunt. Like, that yeah. is so good. That's awesome. I like that sound. You can hear the choppiness. Yeah. Yep. All right, Maddie from Oklahoma. Let's see these dingers. Oh, yeah. I like how you stay low, Maddie. Good job. These are set up low and outside. I feel like those are the best pitches to like hit on a soft slap because it's just in the perfect spot. It's like, yeah. yeah. As long as you get your hips in front, right? Like. Also, while you're slapping, try to imagine like the field is there and like the best places to soft slap is between like to the third baseman or to the shortstop in a very like choppy way. But yeah. like want to have like kind of like a powerful grounder, the best spot to aim is right between the third baseman and the shortstop because usually one of them is playing up. So it's like perfect right. if you get it right between them to so try to imagine yeah. why you're hitting too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For inside pitches, when you get to those and you soft slap inside pitches, it's kind of the same thing. We want to be late, but another thing is you kind of want your hands out so then you can have like this weird little pop. See how my hands okay. far out and then they like this? Yeah. Hit the ball. Insides are hard, but sometimes you can do it like if you have two strikes on here. Just make sure you don't walk out. A lot of the problems with inside pitches is I tend to like hit it and walk towards the first base because it's inside, okay. but we want to stay like the path to like. Yeah. Um, aside so that our balls are. All right. So if you're soft slapping an inside pitch. Yeah. Are you still hitting it kind of out front of the plate like you would on just a regular swing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it kind of. It depends where your body is. Pretty far when I travel, but when I hit an inside pitch, it's like kind of the middle of my hip. I can see like one of those things. Okay. I have my bat and kind of a really sharp angle that, I, and I try to just drop it. Okay. So it's more like in the middle of your body. It's like a late inside pitch. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So normally an inside pitch you hit out here, but this one we're just gonna let it travel a little more. But it's not like right. behind us; it's just in a little more. Okay. Those ones are the hardest to hit, so 
Yeah. If you master that, you're going to be a pro. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing with inside pitching is if you see it's coming inside and you feel like you can't hit it, like it's going to be too hard, that's where you can practice your drag and just like let it hit your bat and kind of fall in that direction. Okay. Bats in this angle right here. When the ball hits it, it's going to go that direction. To the yeah. Okay. Okay. Like even if you're not raising your hands, right, like for a bunt, like, I mean, it's just angling the bat. Like you don't even have to change your grip. Yeah. Like you let it hit it. Yeah. Yeah, I um, you just like kind of swing and like freeze. It's like a what's it called? A half swing or check a swing. swing. Yeah. yeah, and they okay. won't pull the bunt if it goes foul because you had you came from like the top and you went. Sure. Down. Yeah, that's cool. It's like a nice safety when you're like, ah, oh, I can't hit that, and so you just right. like, and a lot of times it does go foul, you know. So it's like helpful because then it's like, oh, they're not gonna throw another inside pitch on you because you're like expecting. Right. So then it gives you an advantage. Yep. Awesome. Way to keep me like it. Let's see that dinger. Nice swing, Oklahoma Maddie. Okay. Keep thinking of the game Fruit Ninja when you swing Oklahoma Maddie, and we want to chop the ball in half. We don't want to be on top of it. We want to chop it right in half. This is the, we want to hit it center. So Ainslin, do you hit for power on the right side? Um, I, yes. Yes, or do you just like, you're like hit, you I, know? I sort of just hit. I try to go for power, but I also just also try to hit it. Cause I'm one that kind of can't tell when it's, have trouble telling when it's a strike and a ball. So I do great on the tee, but in the middle of the game with stress and stuff, it doesn't go too well. Oh, I got you. Um, one thing that helped me with that, of the stress of realizing, like, oh, if, whether it's a ball or strike, like, sometimes it doesn't matter. If it's close enough and you can hit it and you feel confident that you can hit it, it's okay to swing at it. But one thing that helps me is just, like, I just tell myself, focus on on the ball, focus on the ball. So then I see the ball and all I'm doing is looking at this ball and I can at least recognize when I cannot reach it. You know what I mean? Like if it's all the way in the other batter's box and I'm like focused on that ball, I can tell I can't hit it. It, it took me like a while to get used to that. But all I do is like look at the ball, like I'm dead. Like I don't even see the pitcher. I just see this ball coming at me. And that's what I do to try to like um, get used to not swinging at strikes and not swinging at balls. Yeah. And then also you can think of it like Okay, my hands are here. If I have to lift them, that's going to be a ball. Or if I have to go like this, that's going to be a ball. Like so you can start your swing, and if you feel like, oh, my elbow's too high, then just like hold yourself. You know, practice getting into those positions of being like, oh, no, don't want to, don't want to go through on that. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I also, do you swing away too? Yeah. Oh, that's super awesome. I'm just, I just like learned how to swing away. Yeah. Okay, like two years ago, and I've been slapping for like five years. Like, that's pretty awesome that you're already on top of it. <laughs> One thing I do notice about your swing is that your left, your back leg is kind of lazy, which is like a huge tendency for slappers because you don't use your back leg when you slap, right? But just kind of practice squishing the bug, like I told Maddie from Oklahoma earlier, right. and driving this knee into like the other leg is how I kind of imagine right. it. Really try to sit back in that leg and use it. Looking good.
another thing for swinging away is that often when we slap, we try to have that like flat bat angle, which is really good. But when swinging away, we can have a little bit of angle. Yeah, my bat's kind of like. Okay. Angle. So you, if you want, you slow, like if the ball's on the tee, just kind of practice getting an angle. Think of like driving your front elbow up a little bit, not like this, but like yeah. just up a little bit. And it'll help you get a better angle. The ball has like that line drive kind of like pop motion. How long have you been slapping? Um, I've done it for like two years. Now. Again, I guess two years. Um, so you really hit that that much as a right hander anyway, so yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> She started at 12, like switched over at 12. So. Oh, yeah, 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting a drink, Maddie, from Oklahoma? Yeah. It's a hot one out. I bet it's even hotter there. I meant it is hot. <laughs> A little bit, not much though. This is for all hitters, but when you swing, make sure that your arms aren't kind of getting lazy and you want to keep this home plate thing. And what I mean by that is I'm up here, I have this home plate between my arms. This is the point where my hands are and then my body and it keeps this home plate motion. So when I swing, I don't drop it. I'm going to keep my elbows bent and I still have this home plate motion. Okay. Looking good. Yeah. Um, Maddie Hall, on your swing, could you like pause for me right when you make contact? Okay. Thanks. Oh, you guys please. Good. Okay. I just wanted to see it. You're doing great. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another thing for like slappers is that you want to make sure your stance for slapping is the same as hitting because when we're hitting, we want to be deceptive and we don't want to give away what we're doing. So yeah. if this is how I stand for hitting, I'm going to stand like this for slapping too. Okay. Which I think you've already been doing. I was just like giving you a heads up. Could you, you stand a little bit closer to the plate? For hitting for, a little bit. Yeah. We used to have like a slapping coach because she like went D1 and everything for slapping, but then she moved to like It's pretty nice. I have a friend that has this place. I feel like we 
she had a lot of clients in general. She she could do it. What I could do when I was my she was yeah. Are you all done with slapping for today? Um, I can do some more. I'm just getting a drink. Okay, I have like one more drill. Okay. I'll give you a cones or something. <laughs> or any markers, really. What's that? Both. So the drill is like... She's gonna set it up quick. Okay. You're gonna to want to make kind of like a cone shape around the plate that's about like two feet out. And so this is where you want to like hit inside for soft slapping. You don't want to hit any farther out or else it's gonna be like an easy ground pull. You want to make sure okay. you pull down in the ground as close as you can. So this is okay. really be like where you're hitting the ball. And if you're hitting it at a choppy spot. All right, and while you guys are finishing up, I'm just going to say bye quick. I have a lesson I have. Uh, bye, thank you. Thank you um, guys, again, especially you three for coming to our class. We enjoyed having you guys. Um, me and Carly did a bunch, so hopefully we can get you guys in here. Maddie from Oklahoma, thanks for coming. Hopefully we can do some video calls with you over the next couple of weeks, but I'll let you guys finish up with Sage, and I'm going to head to my lesson. But thanks oh, again. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Don't you have the phone? No. No, one coach is just leaving. Oh, okay. 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 I don't know if you know, but um, softball fields are actually made to where, like, that front spot right in front of the plate, it has, like, um, not sometimes turf, but other, like, concrete that's, like, bouncy, and it's made for slappers. So if you hit right there, it's going to bounce, like, really high. But it's hey. only in that front area about like cool. two feet off from the plate. Yeah. So that's why we want to practice hitting it right there. Okay. okay. All right, that was one. Yeah. Okay, how about we do like 10 more swings and then we'll like wrap it up and close. Yeah. So since you've been doing for slapping for like two years, like you said, I want you to every once in a while to start practicing not dropping like the bat. I want you to practice using the full bat because that's going to allow you to cover more across the plate. Okay. And it's really nice when they throw one in like the river, then you can just reach it because you have that hand. Yeah. And then also it plays mm -hmm. along with the whole deception thing. Swinging, are you power slapping? They don't know. But that's just like as you get comfortable to try that. Four more. All right. Good. 
Your timing is really awesome too, how you step and swing at like the same time. It was really okay. I feel like that was the last thing that came to her. Like <laughs> I feel timing. like she, Yeah. Okay. Like for the longest time when she first started, it was like her back step when her back step landed, that was when she was making contact instead of your foot coming down and then hitting it. Yeah. I don't know how you guys do it. It's crazy. One more. Last one. Good. That was the best one. All right. Well, you guys all did awesome. Thank you. Maddie from Oklahoma, you looked like you were hitting some dingers, some bangers over there. I feel like if there was a field, they would have gone way over the fence with your power. And then Maddie Hall, you were doing awesome with your slapping. Like, Thank it's you. Like, it's awesome watching you because you're just so <laughs> good at it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to hit it over the fence yet. <laughs> not much, not but almost, almost. So are you done? Are you, and then also, you, um, you Maddie Hall, you're like, over really you? good. Like, challenge yourself. Like, Coming back. Hang on a second. Coming back. Okay. <laughs> oh, and Ainsley, they call me. Like, that's so awesome. Like, 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 that's awesome. Like, very, 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 very. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 So are you are you done at Glen Elk or you're going into your senior year? I'm going into my senior year. Okay, cool. All right, maybe we can come check out some games. <laughs> yeah. What, where do you bat the lineup? First. First batter. Yeah. Why? Because slappers are first usually. <laughs> I heard you run like a deer. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's why she doesn't like to brag about herself. She's a phenomenal <laughs> player. She's a phenomenal player. I think class is almost over. <laughs> yeah. She's an even so that's what's really nice. Uh, we get great people that work here. Uh and and she's just a, she's a great person. Um so yeah, she she does do some private lessons too. So if y'all are interested in like doing some slap hitting private lessons, Sage is available for that. It's really by a phone call uh, appointment only. She doesn't put her um information on our website or anything like that. Okay. So cool. if that's something that you guys would think you'd be interested in, uh, you can contact me. I'll put you in contact with her. Awesome. Cool. Um, ladies, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming to these classes. It's you been, guys were awesome. Yeah. I mean, like Coach Kayla said, it's just been great having y'all uh, attend just about every, every class that we've had since we started this. We went into this uh, quarantine with, uh, we really didn't know uh, what to expect from our Zoom classes. Um, I had done a lot of research and I wasn't thrilled with the content that I had seen uh, people putting out. So I went into this with a lot of trepidation, uh, but I've been really, really pleased with uh, the responses that we've been getting. Uh, just so grateful for y'all continuing to show up. Okay, so again, thank you. Uh, we hope to see you guys in here soon. Um, we're, we're open. Uh, we're open live only, but we are open next Friday. We will be open for real. Uh, although I probably, we're allowed to open for real. For real, for real. 50% capacity. I'll probably stay close. I don't think I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> we wish. We hey, wish. I'm coming in. You and like four weeks. I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, she's going to Oklahoma. Since. <laughs> Where are you playing in Oklahoma? You know what I said. Wait, yeah, Oklahoma City. Yeah. 